and welcome back YouTube to another episode of From the Depths. Uh, and well, it's kind of a broken episode at this point because, um, well, um, the game updated, uh, and well, um, it's the type of update where. They completely change the map and how AI fun uh, factions work and Receiving. everything else. I didn't actually Receiving. check all the Moving changes now. in the update. There are quite a lot Receiving. of them in the building menu and stuff Moving like that. Now. But Receiving. currently, when it comes concerning Moving me, uh, the Moving game is now. broken. Um, you see, Receiving. the problem Moving is now. that Receiving. the enemy, aka Moving the AI, has no material and also no fuel yeah so um, the last time as you remember we were around this place and initially when the update hit the Scarlet Dawn sent ships and they pretty much ran out of fuel just around here all the way to here these ships of course they are designed to give you a fight but they are not exactly designed to get anywhere on the map and that's where well the game is well broken in my opinion um, this is not exactly I mean I'm not really sure how they're gonna conclude this this is not by any means uh, a final uh, update to the game um, definitely gonna see a way to fix this but pretty much any every single fleet that uh, I have encounter was pretty much not having any fuel, the ships were falling off a sky and just dying. Um, that's... I mean, Scarlet Dawn has kind of the most acceptable to this, simply because um, they use a lot of jet engines, and jet engines consume a lot and lots of fuel. So, um, yeah, let's get you here. Um, we still have a couple of battles to go though, you know, so while being disappointing, you know, we do have uh, this one and there is uh, the base here and there is another base up here. So we have about four battles to go if we take them on one by one. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's slightly bit disappointing. I did give it like a week <coughs> where I didn't uh, make anything about it, simply waiting if there's gonna be another update. Um, to potentially fix this, but well, that week is over, and uh, we're just gonna go with what we have. It's still four battles, it's still this is a satellite army up here, and yeah, receiving. we're gonna see what uh, happens here. Uh, let's pull the base in up as well. Okay, okay, you need to be slightly off the island here, otherwise, you're just gonna crash into it. Um, yeah, and those three are satellites, yeah, up there. Let's begin the battle. Funny how they're still moving. Mm. Usually they would be standstill. Yeah. We are outnumbering the enemy in this case, but... Uh, I guess we're gonna be fine. Yeah, the... Satellites. Something that only the Scarlet Dawn actually uses. Well, satellites. Station type, space station type vessels. They are not that challenging. They're actually fairly easy. They're not maneuvering any type of speed or anything like that. Um, but yeah, they're in space. They, some of them, I'm not really sure which one, drops a shit ton of missiles on you, which is uh, oh wait, I think it's this one. Oops. Yeah, this one does drop a shit ton of missiles on you and it can be quite dangerous. Yeah, the, the guns there usually blows up too easily. The laser one is... Eh. So yeah, this one is the most dangerous what I know. Um, and this one started too low in the atmosphere and cannot pick itself up. And I'm also guessing that... Oh no, it does have fuel. Not a lot of it though. <laughs> 
I mean, yeah, th th that's that's the problem. The currently designs in the game are there to give you a fight, not to be fuel or material efficient. And <coughs> then the result is they can't really travel on the map. This is also why I don't use any jet engines. Um, and without jet engines, I don't really want to build like machines in the sky because they kind of rely on speed there. Uh, those type of things and just yeah no no not really even though I mean you can completely build something that's very well functional in the sky that does not use jet engines it's just that uh, you know they get hit by missiles they destabilize and they drop down and jet engines are extremely fuel consumptions um, so yeah I'm not really sure, sure how they can put the balance on this or to make the AI more uh, viable uh, as, a, as a campaign. Yeah, this one is dead. You can stop shooting. This battle is over. Um, yeah. You may know Scarlet On, not exactly a challenging faction. <laughs> I'm kidding. Some of their ships are really, really good. But. <laughs> And, I mean, they're not as annoying as they once were. The ones, they, they just had nothing but 200 meters a second flying monstrosities that were, you know, really, really hard to shoot and really, really hard to shoot down. So, the days of that are over. And now they have more slower type machines. Um, oh. Receiving. Moving now. Um, Receiving. But... Yeah, they're Receiving. still quite powerful. Moving now. They do use Receiving. warps and Moving stuff now. like that, which can be Receiving. annoying up as well. Moving now. So, they actually Receiving. have a pretty Moving now. Receiving. good machines, and they're quite Moving a lot of faction to take on, but... Receiving. If they don't have Moving any now. fuel... Well... Receiving. That'd be it Moving for them, now. then. Receiving. Huh? Moving now. Moving now. Can they move? No, they can't. Airborne at your service. Moving out. Yeah. Moving now. Can we make a movement like that? Oh. Yeah, so... We still have one battle to go, um, so I'm not completely sure, but... Uh, I don't think it's gonna be a particularly long episode of this. Ah. Also, something with, with the controls. I click on stuff and it does not respond. So I'm not really sure if that's the problem with the game, uh, the code of the game, or is it... Uh, a problem with the uh, unity Moving or something down. like that. Lift Some me. form of update Moving happening up. on that side. Oh! Gee! And... Um, I accidentally drove into another... Uh, yeah, most likely a satellite thingy. Let's see. We don't really have much of any larger ships in here, but... Yeah, we can have a We have plenty of resources. Yeah, and we are vastly out outnumbering the enemy, so... Oh. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> only one of them spawned in. Uh, and it's the gun one, so I'm expecting you to blow up rather quickly. I mean, the moment that the missiles hit you. Oh, yeah. Already detonated. There we go. Now, okay, this is, you see, this is the problem. Ton of missiles. Ton of missiles, yeah. So this one is the dangerous one. It's, it, we're gonna shoot it down, no problems, but uh, those missiles hitting something, yeah, it's gonna hurt. Wait, are they going after the knights? Oh. Yeah, and I does not have any anti-missile defenses. So, yeah, and I lost quite a lot of health there. I, didn't think, I don't think she got completely hit, but hit enough. And this one is going down up as well. What's the health status on it? Oh, yeah. 88%. Oh, it's slowly, slowly, slowly. We're taking it down. Missiles, of course, play a huge role at the moment. And yeah, yeah quite a lot of just destroying the pulsation 
but yeah, uh, something un somewhat unclimatic end to our season here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm literally, I'm most likely gonna just showcase a couple of these uh, ships uh, maybe in the next episode, where, well, episode. It's not gonna be happen as well, it's gonna be more of a... Uh, let's see what the changes they are. Kinda thing. Um, just to showcase some of the Scarlet on ships and... Because this, this, I mean, we, we're only gonna do two battles. The enemy simply does not have any resources. I'm not even sure if, if the Scarlet on base have any material collection on it. Because it's pretty much just a spaceship. So I don't think it does have anything. So, yeah, I mean, I guess that uh, the air faction will need some extra reworking still. And I um, guess they're gonna also get like a bit of a cheat to them, so they're gonna like recover fuel uh, over time, even if they should not, or something like that, um, uh, as, as it currently stands. As I said, I mean, every single fleet, the, the initial fight, uh, the, they did send fleets, uh, I'm guessing there were the sending fleets there. But they just ran out of fuel and fell into the sea. So, yeah, I'm guessing they, they should be giving a slightly bit of fuel cheat for now. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like, unlike the player, the AI didn't have to concern itself with its resources and stuff uh, up to up to until now. So, uh, they're gonna need some, some reworking to be done uh, to allow them to cope with these changes. Um, the player on the other hand, well, I did build efficient engines for a reason. I didn't build any fuel jets for a reason. Oh. Okay, there it comes. And that is also where Receiving. the last of the enemy is. The base. Receiving. Moving now. Let's just see. Receiving. Oh, none. Okay. Oh, it's um, also this is now on automatically. Starts repairs. Yeah. Moving now. Receiving. Moving now. I didn't click them. You know, usually when you exit battles, you have to click start repairs, but now it's just there. Um. Can we get any information on you? No. Oh. No, no, we can't. It's just uh, a single enemy ship there, and zero material. She still at least have fuel and energy, so she's gonna give us a fight, but beyond that, I don't think it has any Receiving. capacity Moving of down. building extra ship, Receiving. which should be kind of its thing, uh, considering down. it's a base. Well, a base. It's pretty much the last of the faction, the last of the ships that you have to destroy. And yeah, this is gonna be a fairly short episode, I'm guessing. So let's just gang her. <laughs> no point to be nice. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, let's put the eye in, and let's put the Trena in as well. Massively outnumbering the enemy, um, but. If we didn't build all of our ships for this reason, then I don't know why. Yeah. And it's going, it's going, it's actually can fly around with zero material. Well, at least it has fuel. Oh, plenty of lasers on this uh, beauty, which we cannot see due to uh, warp jumping. I think it's just warp jumping like that. Ooh. Yeah, but you can see it's pretty, pretty neat. It's a spaceship. That's what it is. Pretty neat looking spaceship. Uh, and it's down. <laughs> it lost its proportion. I'm guessing. Uh, I guess also it has something to do with 
having steam engines. No, it does not seem to have any steam engines. Oh, that's wrong. Yeah. Or maybe it does have steam engines. Ah, oh, no, it doesn't. Just jet engines. Yeah. Well, as you can see, uh, overwhelming firepower, and we got her down. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's it's a very pretty vessel for the end of the campaign, but still slightly bit disappointing. Uh, that loss of material for the enemy, uh, loss of ships, loss of. Yeah, well, the game's still looking like it's gonna get a lot of, lot of work on it. So yeah, well done, the mission is complete. You destroy all factions and won the campaign. Yay! <coughs> I think I should be getting also the, the, the signal for destroying the Scarlet on, but I didn't. Well, we got time taken, 48 hours, yeah. Part-time 40 hours, score 82, yeah, yeah. So yeah, do, do we get, yes, we get this, oh, it just, it was hidden. With the enormous wreck of the ancient starships smoldering in the water, the plague that has troubled Neta for over a century is finally over. And its survivors of your wrath have scattered to the wind, and those that aren't caught by your troops will soon succumb to the hostile environment. Whether you are a liberator who has finally freed the land from an alien incursion or a psychopath who has committed genocide on a entire species is irrelevant. All you know is there is only room for one planetary conqueror in this world. Yay! Battle finished. Did we take any damage? I don't think we did. I thought those lasers were doing damage to us. Gosh, gee. So yeah. This is the very unclimatic, anticlimactic ending to our episodes, to, our, to this season. It's uh, kind of unfortunate, uh, but uh, well, uh, it is what it is. Uh, I'm guessing, I'm not really sure if this is already live. Um, if it is, I do hope they fix it soon enough. Uh, well, fix it. I think it's gonna be part in part one direction, part the other direction, I don't see exactly. I mean, r counting on AI to be smart is usually not the greatest idea. <laughs> but yeah, I um, guess they're gonna have to redo some of the designs, allow refinery vessels uh, for every single faction, etc, uh, etc, etc. Et um, but yeah, this update the way that we were in the campaign, uh, the point where we were in the campaign, our campaign pretty much broke. So it's somewhat unfortunate, but yeah. So um, yeah, that that's gonna be it for this and final episode of From the Depths. And see ya.